Luke, congratulations, off and running here at MSG. Comprehensive victory, just sum it up for us. Yeah, I mean, I, to, to sum it up, I think it was, a, it was a steady game for myself. I think the second leg was a, a massive, massive leg in a way. I think that was the, the difference between a, a really good performance and, and an average performance. If I'd have fit, say, a 15 dart a day, it probably would have been a, a decent 100 plus average like I'm used to. But, um, you know, I think it was a, a big leg to be honest. I think I, I wasn't in the trebles at the start of the, of the game. and. Yeah, maybe I was just trying too hard to, to perform for the crowd, trying too hard. I think that that was the key to it, to be honest. And uh, you know, I was happy to, to get that second leg, and then I relaxed a bit more. And then you got like four sub fifteen dart legs. So uh, yeah, maybe I tried a bit too hard to, to 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 play too well. But all I was thinking to myself was just get through. And then obviously tomorrow, it's uh, you know you're going to be playing the top dart players in the world like I'm used to. So. Uh, I just, I just thought, just get through the game. Were you expecting a little bit more from David Cameron this evening as well? Yeah, I was actually because he is a, a fantastic player. Um, the result doesn't reflect how well David can play. You know, he's a, he is a great player. I've seen him many, many times, and he's qualified for the, the World Championships a couple of times as well, I think, and done well in the seniors. So I did expect a much, much tougher game, but a couple of legs could have gone his way, and then it could have been two one down to, you know, he could have been two one up. Sorry, not, I could have been two one down. So it could have been a lot different game to be honest, because I hit them crucial legs. Um, you know, when you when you let me go three 0 up, it's going to be an uphill task for for him himself. So, yeah, maybe six 0 was a little bit. But you know, I'm one of them players that kind of needs to to work their way into tournaments, and that's just the way it is for me. I'm I'm just that player. So yeah, I think now I've got that whole day under my belt. Uh, tomorrow I'll come back, perhaps another three hours, and I should be back to normal. Luke, congratulations. Thank you, Phil. Just to run down some stats for you: one ten first nine, ninety five average overall. Mm. Yeah, you had some sub fifteen dart legs with that real stinker in the second. Mm. You just kind of brush that off. I know those those going to creep in every once in a while, right? Yeah, I mean it was there was a. I mean, it was a stinker. There was a couple of doubts that it was so close to the Y. It could have been, it could have been a, a I don't know, 16, 78. I don't know what it, what it could have been. It could have been like a, just a steady 18 dart leg, to be honest. But, you know, there was a couple of unfortunate wire darts that didn't go in. Um, so, yeah, it, it was a stinker. 20, was it 24 darts? Yeah. Yeah, see. <laughs> but it can happen to the best of us. You know, it's not uncommon. It, it, probably not have many legs above 21 darts, but, it, you know, it can happen. If you don't need your doubles, it will happen. But... You know, it's just one leg. I'm not, you know, I wasn't here to it. 110 averages. Sometimes, you know, you just got to accept that. Just getting through the first game is. I mean, for me, that's what I'm always like. I'm never one of them people that hits the amazing averages first game. If it comes, it comes in the in the latter stages. So, you know, obviously, a little bit gutted that I had to have that stinker in there. But you know, it is what it is. I I got through, won the game in the manner I wanted to. So that's the most important thing.
At least I know I could have maybe taken you one leg well, there. At least you may, maybe would have saved someone a double. <laughs> Nathan, you can tell he definitely definitely is not looking forward to playing you tomorrow. You, you mentioned that in the interview. Uh, is that just status of where you're at right now? You nah, know, he's probably, probably starting to get in my head to be honest. But no, the last time he played me, he played absolutely lovely. I think the last time I played him, um, I think it was just not 13, and he hasn't got 106 against me. Did miss a thing, so you know, if he, if he says he's not looking forward to it, I'm sure. He is. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's. Uh, he's probably only messing. You know, he knows how well I'm playing. But I know with a, with a t with the flick of a finger, Nathan can be at his best. He's he's one of the best players in the world. I don't care what he says. I believe he is. You know, I think he's top four, top five player in the world when he's on his game. So, uh, you know, I think uh, I need to make sure I played the way I did in the first, sec uh, third, fourth, fifth, sixth leg. If I play like that, then it's going to be a tough game for him. But if I play like I did in the second leg, it's going to be an easy game for him. So. Uh, you know, I expect a good game, to be honest. He's, he's, he's playing much better now. Definitely. You mentioned lack of practice a little bit. Mm. Does that does that creep in at all? Do you do you like some time off here and there just to kind of... Got a, a, a ton of media. There's been a lot more attention on you coming here as as world champion. Yeah. Has, uh, any of that extra this week you know, played into your mindset at all? No, not at all. I don't think anything I've done this week, you know, the proposal or the media, mm -hmm. it's not played in my mind at all. You know, I think, you know, just, like I said, I've just not really had that mm -hmm. much data in. Um, since since the Premier League finals, to be honest, and that's just one of them things. I think when you're not your arms not playing all the time, it, it can feel a little bit forced and you're trying too hard so you know obviously I had a, a little practice an hour on Wednesday I had a good session today practicing and went up on the stage so tomorrow another another session of practice I think I'll, I'll be back to normal to be honest you know you don't need five six days of big hard practice a couple of days and you're back to normal to be honest. And uh, most important question yesterday when we talked you were struggling with uh, saying fiance instead mm. of girlfriend, is it feeling a little more comfortable today? Yeah, I accidentally <laughs> slipped up and said my girlfriend. Now, of course, it's fiance. I, I, did, I did slip up. I think your cameraman, uh, cameraman, uh, corrected me, didn't he? So yeah, so it's something that I'm, I'm still learning. But obviously, like I said in in, in my previous interviews, there it's uh, it's you know whatever happens this week, it, it's been a success for me. I I come in and, and did what I wanted to do, but uh, now I can go and and leave uh, tomorrow as the champion. I got the uh, the possibility to do that, so uh, that's also on my mind. Obviously, yesterday was a fantastic moment for me, but now my my mind is fully focused on winning the tournament because obviously everyone knows I'm fully focused and I always want to win everything. Well, congratulations on the win tonight. I'm looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you.